your good friend, the, the former Sasha Banks, yeah. won the titles back in uh, WrestleMania of last year. Yeah. Shortly thereafter, she left uh, yeah. the company uh, along with uh, Naomi, and uh, she recently popped up in Japan, yeah. and mm. you were there. I was there. You were yeah. backstage. Yeah. Now uh, I saw a lot of people saying like, everyone needs a friend like Bailey. Like you were, you, were you, were you strictly there just for support? Yeah, yeah. How long were you in Japan for? Two days. Two days. Yeah. And was it your suggestion to be there with her? Did she ask you to be there? With her? How did that no, all go down? No, like yeah, I went there on my own. There was a few of us that flew out there just because like. That's a, she's been there for all my big moments, you know, even as, a, as she hasn't been a part of the company and I've made my return and I've had my big matches, like she's there for me. So of course I want to be there for her and we've done so much together in WWE. So um, she means so much to me and so much to the wrestling world. Like I have to be there for this moment. I literally flew out like right after Raw, um, got to Japan two hours before the show started wow. and raced over there and made, met a few, <laughs> met everybody there and sat in the crowd and like kind of incognito, you know? It was so magical to be there for her and I just knew how important it was to her and, um, and she just loves this, you know? Everybody, everybody knows how much she loves this and how much wrestling means to her and how much WWE means to her and she wouldn't be there without WWE. So. I think it meant a lot to her that I was able to go and I made it right back in time, made it back to California Friday morning so I could like fly out for the live events and it was so worth it. Were you holding out hope or even trying to help? Like there was some hope I think when Triple H took over that she might come back. I'll never give up hope. Okay. I'll never give up hope that she'll come back. Do you think it happens? Um, I'll say yes because I mean this is her home, this is her dream and like I love to see what she's doing and what she's going to be doing over the next few months. And uh, she's going to literally take over the world, take the world by storm. But I know this is her home and where her heart is. So, um, And by her heart, I mean me. So sure. she needs to come back yes, to me, yes. you know. I need her. I need my travel partner. But I, I'm going to say yes. Like, I'll never give up hope that she'll come back. Was it close? <sighs> Honestly, I don't know. She's a little private about okay. that stuff. Yeah. We talk about a lot, but she's very private when it comes to that situation, you right. know. Um, but nevertheless, you were there. You, you, you went to visit her. You went to support her. And then afterwards, did you guys... Afterwards? Uh, what did we do after? We literally went and go and had, like, Korean barbecue, but she was so exhausted. And I'm all jet-lagged already, right. you know. Um, but the next day, we had, like, a free day to hang out. And um, we all just, like, walked around Tokyo and... Shibuya and all this stuff and went shopping went out to eat. It was it was a great day 